Have you ever wondered, can a desert really become an oasis? Well, let me show you something amazing. This is how Israel transformed the desert into a water-rich oasis. And trust me, it's not just a cool story. It's a blueprint. Imagine dry, cracked land, nothing but heat and dust. Now picture that same place full of green fields, clean water, and families building a better life. Sounds impossible, right? But Israel made it happen. They didn't wait for rain. They built the future, drop by drop. Here's the secret. Smart thinking, bold action, and never giving up. They pulled water from the air, reused almost everything, and grew crops where nothing ever grew before. What does this mean for you and me? It means drought isn't the end. It means we can solve big problems with the right mindset, tools, and teamwork. How Israel transformed the desert into a water-rich oasis isn't just about one country. It's about what's possible for all of us. If they can turn a desert into life, what can we do together? Let's find out. You know how it all started? With one bold idea. Israel's first prime minister, Ben-Gurion, looked out at the dry, empty desert and said, This is our future. Sounds crazy, right? Back then, over half the country was just sand. No rivers. No real water. Most people would have given up, but not them. Instead, they asked a powerful question. What if we don't wait to find water? What if we make it? That one shift? It changed everything. They started creating new ways to catch water, clean it, and use it again. Simple, smart, and way ahead of its time. Not just to survive, but to show the world what's possible. That's the secret. That's the mindset. And that's how a dry desert became a symbol of life and hope. Back in the 1950s and 1960s, Israel built something big, the National Water Carrier. It wasn't just a bunch of pipes. It was a lifeline. For the first time ever, water from the Sea of Galilee flowed all the way down to the desert, right into the heart of the Negev. Over 80 miles of tunnels, pipes, and canals, 72,000 cubic meters of water, every single hour. And guess what? They didn't waste a drop. Smart systems tracked it all. Massive reservoirs held enough to last through the hottest, driest summers. This was more than engineering. It was survival. It was vision. And it worked. But that was just the start. The desert wanted more. And the Sea of Galilee? It couldn't keep up. So, Israel looked somewhere bold. The Mediterranean. Yep, salt water. Now you'd think, you can't drink that. But they made it possible. Using a method called reverse osmosis, they built massive desalination plants. Places like Ashkelon, Hadera, Sorek. Five of them now turn seawater into fresh, clean water. Together, they make almost 600 million cubic meters of water every year. That's enough to make green things grow where nothing used to live. Today, water from the sea flows through pipes and taps. The salt? Left behind. The life? flows forward. What used to be impossible is now everyday reality. Sure, turning seawater into drinking water takes a lot of energy, but guess what? Israel found a smart way around that. They used the sun. In the middle of the Negev desert, solar panels soak up all that sunlight. And that energy? It powers the pumps and plants that make fresh water from the sea. No smoke, no pollution, just clean power. 
and Israel didn't stop there. They also invented drip irrigation, so every drop of water goes right where it's needed. This isn't just about saving water. It's about building a future, one that's smarter, cleaner, and more resilient. They turned a dry desert into a hopeful blueprint for the whole world. You know what's crazy? Israel recycles almost 90% of its wastewater. Yeah, 90%. That's more than any other country in the world, by far. Instead of wasting used water, they clean it. Big plants, like the one near Tel Aviv, take in water from over 30 cities. Then they filter it, purify it, and send it back out. Not for drinking, but for farming. That water helps grow crops like cotton, and it keeps green spaces alive, even in the heat. It's smart. It's sustainable. And it's one more way Israel turns every drop into new life. Let me tell you, this part blew my mind. Back in the 60s, Israeli scientists came up with something brilliant, drip irrigation. Instead of flooding fields, they used tiny tubes to give water drop by drop, right to the roots. No waste, no guesswork, just smart farming. It cut water use by up to 70%. And the results? Huge. Lush vineyards, juicy tomatoes. In desert soil, people thought was useless. That's what happens when you stop fighting nature and start working with it. From dry dust to thriving farms. That's real transformation. Here's something most people don't know. One of the best kept secrets of Israel's success is what's happening in the Negev Desert. Take Beersheba. It used to be dry, empty, forgotten. Now, it's buzzing with life. Tech parks, universities, green spaces, right in the desert. And it's not just the city. All around it, you'll see greenhouses, orchards, thriving fields, all growing where nothing once did. The secret? Smart farming, water tech, and something called ecoforestry, a powerful method that brings dead land back to life. Israel's showing us that with the right solutions, even the harshest places can bloom again. Here's a little secret. Israel didn't beat the water crisis with just tech. It took a bold plan, smart moves, and a whole lot of teamwork. We're talking real collaboration. Government, scientists, startups, engineers, everyone brought something to the table. It wasn't about waiting, it was about doing. The big wins? Desalination that turns seawater into drinking water. Recycling almost every drop of wastewater. Drip irrigation that saves water but still grows amazing crops. These aren't just cool tricks, they're game changers. And now, countries from Africa to Asia are picking up the playbook. What started as, how do we survive, turned into, here's how you thrive. So yeah, when it comes to water, Israel found the cheat code. And now, it's sharing it with the world. Here's a powerful secret not many people talk about. You can plant a forest in the desert. Sounds crazy, right? But Israel did it. It's called the Yatir Forest, right on the edge of the Negev. Started back in the 1960s, just trees, hope, and a big vision. Now it's one of the largest hand-planted forests in any desert zone on Earth. And get this. It doesn't just grow trees. It cools the air, brings back wildlife, and even helps rainfall where it didn't before. It's a genius mix of science, patience, and belief. A real solution for turning dry, empty land into something alive. If trees can take root in the desert, 
What else is possible? Look, Israel's not out of the woods yet. Population's growing, climate's shifting, and yeah, politics can get messy. But here's the cool part. Their water game keeps leveling up. Think reverse flow water carriers, smart meters that track every drop, AI crunching the numbers, and ecoforestry bringing green back to dry land. They're not just surviving the desert, they're flipping the script. Negev's becoming a hot spot for green energy and nature restoration. The big secret? Vision, grit, and tech working hand in hand. So next time you think deserts have to be barren, remember, Israel's showing us how to turn dust into abundance. It's not magic. It's the best combo of smarts and hard work. You know what's amazing? Israel took some of the toughest water problems and turned them into solutions we can all learn from. Using smart tech, like desalination, recycling wastewater, drip irrigation, and solar power, they made scarcity into plenty. This isn't just any project. It's a shining example of Israeli innovation and never-give-up spirit. A true green miracle rising right out of the desert. If the world's running low on water, Israel's story shows us there's hope. With the right ideas and guts, even deserts can bloom. That's the secret behind how Israel transformed the desert into a water-rich oasis. And it's a story worth sharing. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you liked this, hit like, share it around, and subscribe for more cool stories like this. Until next time, let's keep aiming for a healthier, greener future.